The first plant you ever unlock in Plants vs. Zombies is, of course, the Pea Shooter. Actually, in most of the games you unlock the Pea Shooter first. There are so many games with the Pea Shooter that it got me wondering, just how many versions of this thing are there? I was pretty naive to think this would be a simple task. I truly don't know if you're prepared to know how many I found, but my goal for today is to attempt to rank every single pea shooter that has ever existed. Obviously, they need to be official. That's the big first requirement. I'm also deciding that if a pea shooter looks and acts the exact same that I won't be ranking it twice. A lot of those Chinese spin-offs are really intimidating otherwise. I can't go through concept art or single forms that appear in a trailer or poster or will be here all freaking day. I won't be ranking costumes or anything like that either, they need to be actually distinct in some way. They also have to be pea shooters, not just affiliated with peas. I'm looking at you appeasement! Anyways, we'll basically be going game by game and discussing each pea shooter we find. With those parameters in mind, today we will be ranking the pea shooter, 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 P 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 shooter, and finally, the one, the only, P shooter. Yes, that was really funny, and how dare you if you skip through that. Also, I didn't want to have to say P shooter over 80 times, so yes, there is quite a lot more than the ones you just saw. Now, without further ado, let's find out which P shooter is the ultimate plant, and which one can go suck on a pant. It doesn't get more classic than the first ever pea shooter. We get the first game's art style, he costs a measly 100 sun, and shoots one little pea at a time? Someone is clearly not prepared for the rest of this tier list. If you're looking for an iconic pea shooter, we've made it on our first dang try. Every pea shooter after this has to somehow attempt to beat the original, and that's a pretty tough challenge. Also, I'm just realizing if you want to get alcohol poisoning, take a shot every time I say pea shooter. You won't make it past the intro. Anyways, I'm taking into account the legacy, design, and power level of each pea shooter. He's got the first two aspects nailed down, but unfortunately that single pea shot just can't cut it. We're going to place the very first pea shooter down in C tier. Only 5 plants later, we got the next evolution of the pea shooter, the snow pea. I really hadn't realized just how many times this thing has showed up in games alongside the regular pea shooter, but honestly, there's barely any games that don't have snow pea. Other than being blue and frosty, he now shoots frozen peas that slow down zombies. Keeping zombies away for as long as possible is undoubtedly helpful, but you gotta keep in mind their higher price tag. I've always liked the snow pea, and if you don't, I'm sorry, but this thing ain't going away anytime soon. Let's put it one level above the original with a B tier. The slightly angrier brother to the pea shooter is finally here. Repeater is known for his double shot and his newfound eyebrows. Even Red's a little jealous of those things. Who knows why he's allowed to shoot two peas, it's a mystery only Crazy Dave could solve. But I do know this guy is nearly as iconic as the original, and I think he can go alongside the snow pea in B tier. Rather than growing even bigger eyebrows or some facial hair or something, instead we got the Cerberus of the Plants vs. Zombies series. Everyone knows you can evolve a character by just giving them more heads. In the past, I've done this thing dirty, throwing it all the way in F tier. I've started to come around on the guy, even if I can't deny their flaws. Rather than shooting three peas in a single lane, they each shoot a pea in the three lanes they're facing. You don't need three pea shooters for the job, just one three peter can do the trick. The annoying thing is that at the very top or bottom of the stage, the third head decides to go on strike! That third head is an entire little shit dude! Every trio has a little twerp! But the three peter as a whole doesn't deserve F tier for it. Because of that evil ugly triplet, I'll put it in C tier as well. On the other hand, I've really lost all patience for the split P. I love the idea very much, this normal pea shooter has a birth defect with this evil twin sewn to the back of his head. Being able to shoot forward normally and extra strong backwards is great, but when is it even worthwhile to use? Sure, I guess I'll finally mention digger zombies, they're great for that, but why not just use a squash on them instead? I just never felt the need to shoot backwards, I'm sorry, but it's true. Split Pea is one of my least used plants in the first game and I think it deserves our first F tier. Sorry buddy. Through the shop, some of the plants get an upgrade. Some of the more impressive ones were the Cobb Cannon or the Cattail, but the very first one was the now iconic Gatling Pea. They just straight up stuck a gun in his mouth and drafted him into a war. A pea shooter with PTSD is a great idea, and the ability to shoot two times an oral repeater is pretty dang impressive. He is the best pea shooter from the first game, and I love him very much. Let's get our A tier started. 
Unfortunately, when I say I'm going to rank quote unquote every pea shooter in Plants vs. Zombies, that means people will riot unless I mention the repeater that faces the opposite direction. Remember how we just dunked on the split pea? Well, PopCap dunked on them harder than I ever could by completely ignoring them in the base breaker levels and replacing them with a repeater that's facing the wrong way. This is both extremely funny and extremely frustrating at the same time. This one really deserves the F tier. Before we finish the original game, I want to mention the cardboard cutout versions of the pea shooters. And literally only mention them because I refuse to rank a PNG of a pea shooter that acts the exact same as the normal pea shooters and instead shift your focus to God's greatest creation, the pea shooter zombies. The world of PvZ would be a lot more terrifying with these things roaming around. Zombies with ranged attacks is insanely messed up, and don't even get me started on the Gatling pea zombies. That's a powerful enemy. These guys are really funny to me and some of the most dangerous zombies to encounter. I'm putting the regular one in A and the Gatling one as our first S tier. Before moving to the second game, there are a couple pea shooters from the Chinese version, Journey to the West. For the most part, this is a reskin of the first game, but is also known as Endless Edition. The game featured heroes, not to be confused with the heroes from Heroes, but instead are heroes that are upgrades to normal plants. It's fairly complicated, so I think I'll just leave it at that. Some are really funny, like Iron Man Nut and Nut Wujing, and now that I think about it, I guess just the nuts are the funny ones. But we also got the Monkey King pea shooter. This thing sets zombies on fire and with a full power bar can attack an entire lane. He's even going to return in another Chinese game, Plants vs. Zombies 3D, but I don't believe he ever appeared. I will truly never be able to fully understand the Chinese games, but I do understand that it's a very powerful pea shooter. I really don't love the look of him though, so let's put him in B. We also got the Neza pea shooter, a reskin of the 3 peter. Its peas go through enemies and it has a powerful special attack as well. I don't know anything about Journey to the West, so sorry if Neza is your favorite character. They're going in B as well. I promise this is the last little speed bump before the next game. Plants vs. Zombies DS exists, and with it comes a new sprite for every pea shooter from the first game. Wow, I just can't wait to rank them all again. Can't you hear how excited I am? Guess what, dickwad? I like the sprites! They're fine! So literally everyone is going to go in the exact same tier as their counterpart. Look at that, we're really filling up the tier list now. There is however one exclusive pea shooter, the spirit pea shooter. In the new minigame Heat Wave, you're only allowed to move around the plants given to you. I've never played this game before so I was shocked to read this, but apparently when your pea shooters get tired, you scream into the mic and they turn orange. In case you're curious what that might look like, clearly the DS version is the superior title. So do I like orange pea shooter? Yeah, sure, why the hell not? I love screaming, A tier. I think I probably said this in every PVC video I've ever made, but it's about damn time. Plants vs Zombies 2 gave each of our favorite plants an HD glow up, and even gave us some new pea shooters to cover later on. First, let's quickly go through the returning pea shooters and how they compare to the original. I've always quite liked how the classic pea shooter turned out. There's a lot less personality in the art style of the second game, but it is nice just how clean they all look. And its updated animations are pretty nice too. The only thing that makes this one stronger is the brand new plant food abilities. He almost has the middle evolution between a pea shooter and a gatling pea, donning a helmet and shooting a buttload of peas. I don't like that I'm placing him higher than the original pea shooter, let that be acknowledged, but it must be done. B tier. The repeater showed up before the snow pea this time around. Same deal here, he's much more plainly stylized, honestly looking a little less interesting now. His plant food power is equally as lazy, getting a slightly upgraded helmet, more peas, and one last thick pea at the end. I've never seen pea so thick, and I exclusively drink whole milk, so that's saying something. I like this version less, so he's going in B too. Here comes our first pea shooter I did not own before making this. Take my $5 pop cap, just take it and leave! All that money just to try out the freaking snow pea. And why? He was perfectly fine in the first game, but compared to the premium plants we have nowadays, he's just nothing now. And look at the plant food power. It's an icy version, but they couldn't even bother to make a new helmet for him. You pissed me off for the last time, buddy. F tier. The three Peter really lost all of its personality here. The only thing differentiating these from the normal pea shooter is the leaves on their heads. And uh, and also because it has three heads, I guess. Despite my grievances with the first game's version, at least they look visually distinct from the normal pea shooter. I've always kind of hated their plant food ability as well. It creates this massive spread of plants, but the majority don't even hit any zombies. The best part is their heads spinning around like a revolver or something. D tier. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. You want a little redemption, buddy? 
Well, good news, you were actually important in the Wild West stages. You did it, you gave me a reason to use you! The Prospector Zombies show up a lot in this world, and even without them, I'd say their plant food ability is pretty dang helpful. Shooting that many peas in a lane is nuts. You even get that thick pea from the back. Now that's a redemption. Still, go on and see though. Now for the exciting part. We've covered all the returning pea shooters and are now left with the cool new additions to the game. Pea Pod is up first, and it's by far one of the coolest ideas in the first few worlds. There are a few plants that can combine to become stronger, so adding up to 5 heads for just one pea shooter is awesome. You're able to save space and put 5 pea shooters into just one tile, and the only downside is the chance of losing such a costly plant. The levels in this game are so short I often don't get very many pea pods up, but I can't deny it's one of the coolest additions we've seen. I know I placed this one low compared to most PC2 plants, but compared to the generic pea shooters we've seen, I can't help liking this one. Let's say B tier. The Peanut, however, is quite the opposite. It's barely making it into the list. This is like the ugly stepchild of the pea shooter family. They attempted to combine a walnut and a pea shooter, and the result is somehow worse than how they were separated. It's neither strong in defense or offense, and most of the time the top half gets eaten alive and you make his brother an only child. There's a reason the two Peter doesn't exist, people. But this sad excuse for a pea shooter in F tier where it belongs! Sometimes I forget that the fire pea shooter debuted in this game. Well, actually, it was kind of in PvZ Adventures first, but you know what I mean. In terms of the mainline series, he appeared in the second game. It just makes so much sense after having the snow pea. Eventually, we'd see every element mixed with the pea shooters. I've been waiting for one to have a massive blue arrow on its forehead, but that all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. As far as I've seen, this might be the first female pea shooter as well. I could be wrong, it can be hard to tell the gender between identical looking plants sometimes. Anyways, this one costs gems and not money, thank god. It does exactly what you expected a fire pea shooter to do, down to the fire breath plant food power. It's most helpful in the frostbite caves of course, keeping your plants nice and warm. I really like her, she looks awesome and is a great addition to the pea shooter family. I'm saying A tier. Some of my favorite plants in this game go to the primal ones from Jurassic Marsh. I bring in primal sunflower and potato mine almost everywhere I go. The pea shooter in particular really has that caveman look, all shaggy and neanderthal like. The best part about him is the rock peas he shoots, causing more damage and physically pushing back zombies. Who cares about the plant food power, he's just great on his own. It's definitely one of my favorite designs, and the power is a nice addition. He probably doesn't deserve it, but I'm feeling generous. S tier, baby. I told you we'd get through all the elements. Meet Electric Pea Shooter, the next plant that forced me to fork over $5 to try. You saw what happened to Snow Pea, buddy. You've been warned. This one's peas are powered by the Lightning Reads ability causing a bit of chain damage to all the zombies within range. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is considered one of, if not the best pea shooters in the game, only rivaled by the next one in our list. I can see his potential, and he does look awesome. Maybe he's worth the $5 after all. Okay, no, definitely not, but I'll still give him S tier. The other most powerful pea shooter of PvC2 is the Shadow Pea Shooter. In the last chapter of the game, we got a bunch of plants in the Shadow family, who are all a little mediocre on their own, but fully powered up by the Moonflower. Right away, that makes me a little wary of its S tier placement, but I suppose simply bringing in a few Shadow plants could justify it for me. I can't recall how many plants have this either, but based on how many Moonflowers you have, there are different plant food abilities. A pretty weak one, a massive bomb, or a full-on Doom Shroom nuke. He literally creates mushroom clouds, that's how powerful he is. Causing slowdown to zombies? Deleting ones that get near? Looking sick as hell? I totally get the hype, dude. Easy S tier. I'm honestly a little weirded out by the goo pea shooter. I don't like what's going on with his body there. I feel like this is the smoothest animation in the game, though. It is so fun to watch him jiggle around with each shot. And the massive goo ball he shoots from the plant food is just fun. A poison based pea shooter totally makes sense. And I've grown to love him the more I look at him. Not quite top tier, but a very high A tier. We have our first homing pea shooter, shooting a whole 5 peas at a time. In a way, this is better than the homing thistle. You know, the plant with a homing ability in the name. Simply because it's cheaper and recharges faster. The main issue is just how much of a spread the sling pea has. The 5 peas will go to 5 different zombies if possible, rather than focusing on one in particular. It takes a little too long to fire as well, making it less than ideal to ever bring in. I'm really not a fan of the guy, which sucks considering we had a great streak going there for a second. D tier. One of the coolest combinations I had never even thought of before is the Snap Pea. 
I'm basically in love with the Chomper at this point. I will never care if he sucks. He's just such a cool character, and you can never take that away from me. And the more I learn about the Snap Pea, the happier I get. We've seen pea shooter shoot frozen peas, maybe even a little poison now and again, but nothing is nearly as raw as chewing up a zombie and spinning their head back out. That's right, people. We have a pea shooter that shoots zombies' heads. I literally do not care if this plant is bad in any way. It looks awesome, it is awesome, and it will be going in S tier. So far, I have loved every vine I've tried in PVC2. I've only tried two so far, but still, they're going strong. Just by looking at the face of a pea shooter on a vine though, I gotta get the feeling we're breaking the streak today. The thing about the pea vine is that it acts exactly like a normal pea shooter, except the plant can be placed on top of it. I suppose that means he'd be helpful with any sort of team you already have, but why not just use the pea pods or something? or any of the other vines for that matter. I have to imagine a pea shooter got on Squash's nerves 120 times and he just flattened the sucker like a pancake, giving us this freak of nature. Yeah, I don't know. I really can't see the point in this thing. D tier. We never received a regular Gatling pea, but as our most recent pea shooter, we basically got a new upgrade plant in the form of the Mega Gatling pea. This guy is truly insane. Apparently he just has a chance to activate his plant food ability at random. He can just shoot up steroids whenever he freaking feels like it. He also starts with 4 peas at a time but converts to 5 peas after his first plant food. And speaking of, he looks insanely awesome during his ability, more so than pretty much any pea I've ever seen. I didn't realize this beforehand, but I have a huge freaking crush on the Mega Gatling pea right now. Absolutely S tier. We may have never gotten the normal Gatling pea in the states, but over in the Chinese version of PVC2, there he is. He's just there now. He's gone camo mode now, and good for him. But zooming in on the render, you can clearly see they took a pea shooter and smashed a PNG of a helmet on his head and crammed a gatling down his throat. His plant food power shoots in three lanes, which feels more fitting for a three peter, but I'll allow it. After the mega gatling pea, I don't think I can ever go back to the normal guy. How could he possibly go mega and never be okay with some small loser wannabe ever again? Obviously, he's not bad, just bland. C tier. They weren't done making pea shooters in China though. Everyone, say hello to your favorite new pea shooter, Horse Bean. I know what you're thinking. You don't think that's a pea shooter, do you? Well, good job. You're absolutely correct. There's no horse involved either. Sorry to disappoint. Basically, there's three of those beans from the Mario Luigi RPG game stuck in a flying pod, and the beans jump out and shoot peas at enemies. Wow, they really know how to make a plant in China, don't they? It really doesn't matter how good they are or how useful they can be. That's not a freaking pea shooter! Why am I including it, you ask? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> So funny that it can go in F tier! Another game exclusive to China, PVZ All Stars takes new and existing plants and gives them Pokemon like evolutions. The pea shooter starts as normal but evolves into the repeater, which makes a lot of sense. Our rule is that we can only rank characters who are visually distinct though, and that's where this other Gatling P comes in. Wow, you got a new helmet? Good for you! Let's just move on. D tier. The ice line is at least a little more interesting. And yes, despite these being snow peas, they are known as the ice peas. The middle evolution is the one we know and love, in fact we love it so much I put it in F tier LOL. But the first one is known as the droplet shooter. If you ever wanted a water pea shooter, then look no further. I truly, utterly hate the thing. F tier. But we also got the crazy cool frostbolt shooter. Trust me, I've seen the plants in this game, and almost all of them look horrible. So it's truly a miracle that the frostbolt shooter looks as cool as it does. His frozen arrows are awesome, and so is he. S tier. You may have noticed me mention how they went from a repeater to a three peter, and just how cursed it would be if they made a two pe- OH MY GOD THEY MADE A TWO PETER! It's so lazily done that they just removed a head from the three peter and called it a day. It's also time for me to add all these top down view versions of my favorite characters to the tier list, just like I did for the DS ones. Again, I'm trying to be completionist, but you must understand my opinions have not freaking changed just because we got a different angle on their heads. This is all your fault too, Peter. Both of your versions can go in F tier. After fully recording and beginning to edit this video, I came across a few extra pea shooters I didn't want to miss. I told you guys, I'm on a mission. I'm going to add all these to the tier list at the very, very end of the video since I've already created the full tier list on my end. First is the Bit P Shooter or Pixel P from the Chinese PVC2. This video randomly popped in my recommended videos while working on the tier list, which is a strange but happy coincidence. As you might expect, it is only visually different, at least as far as I can tell. Looks kinda cool I guess, it can go in D tier. 
I was randomly scrolling through the wiki for the snow pea and saw this snow two peter. Confused as to why this was not included on the list of pea shooters in the series, I read the description. It mentioned there was also a snow three peter in Plants vs. Zombies 2 Revenge. Clicking on that game's page showed that fire two peter and three peter existed as well, which is just nuts. There aren't even images of them on here, so if I'm able to find actual images of these pea shooters, I'm going to add them all to the tier list. At the very least, Snow 2 Peter will be added. That's all I found. Fingers crossed there aren't more I find while working on this insane video. <sighs> of course there's more. There's always more. Screw you, PVZ match! There's a few pea shooter shaped power-ups, including a split pea and a four Peter. I literally made a joke about how stupid that would be a whole year ago, and now it exists. <laughs> Anyways, watch the end to see where they go on the tier list. <laughs> if I find any more peas, I'm gonna blow my brains out! No! Before we move to the next game in the series, I thought we'd take the time now to go through the other appearances of Pea Shooter and media. Well, that's ridiculous. Plants could never kill a zombie. As far as I know, the only official tie ins were with The Sims 3, Battlefield 4, and Little Big Planet. The first ones are just 3D models of Pea Shooters that act as Easter eggs. They're really nothing special. Of course, it's cool to find a game, but in the sea of pea shooters we're ranking here, what else is there to say? Great job, you gave me two more pea shooters to add to my damn list. Thanks! D tier. Except the little big planet one. He goes in A tier. Look, there's a lot of pea shooter merchandise out there. I could spend the next hour on them all and still miss some. I decided to leave out some of the dumb ones like the lawn ornaments or this DS stylus, but cover the necessary ones like the goddamn Halloween costume. F-U-C-K explanation point. I don't give a fuck. I have no idea how this exists. I have no idea what kind of person would unironically wear this in public, but I do know that I would love nothing more than to ironically wear it in public. The picture of it with his arms outstretched is so funny too. It's one of my favorite images of a pea shooter period. It's going in S tier. You can't stop me. I really can't believe they let them make Funko Pops. How does this exist? It so clearly doesn't work. Just look how awful it turned out. They just had to make the head square. Well, guess what? You ruined him. F tier. If you look at P shooter plushies, you could scroll for hours and still never see them all. However, as far as I know, there's only three official PVC plushies out there, which is crazy to me. Seems like such an obvious merchandise option, and clearly people out there want these things. And yes, there are tons of really funny looking knockoff plushies, but sadly the official one we got is just boring. Now set, D tier. Everyone's 8th favorite building toys, otherwise known as Connects, got to make Plants vs. Zombies toys. We got one for the regular pea shooter, the snow pea, fire pea, and even some of the garden warfare ones. I refuse to go into detail on every single one. Check the tier list, let's move on. Uh, we'll drop a little pea in here. What the? Pea shooter, gun! 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 Pea shooter, slippers! Pea shooter, slip! Alright, I'm just kidding. All I know is that I want a pair of pea shooter slippers, dude. A tier. There we go, that's all the merch I wanted to cover. Again, of course there's more, it's just not worth it, man. What is worth it is to go back to the one game we skipped. Plants vs. Zombies Adventures. The game sadly doesn't exist anymore, but we basically got a balloon style PVZ game on Facebook, which is still crazy to think about. Of course we got a pea shooter there, and this is really one of the first 3D pea shooters we ever got. He's honestly pretty freaking cute, it's like a chibi style of the original. I just love how simple he is, man, the most basic shapes as possible. We all know what pea shooters do at this point, so nothing to say there. I like him. B tier. Obviously, Snow Pea would be next. This one was not so successful, I'd say. There's something about that vibrant blue that just looks bad. Not a fan. C tier. As I said before, the Fire Pea Shooter actually debuted here. It was actually known as the Flaming Pea at the time, which is kind of a weird name the more I think about it. She was pretty strong, making Torchwood basically useless once you unlocked her. Again, that red color is just way too bright. I can't even see the hole in its snoot. Can't compare to the others. Sorry, buddy. D tier. Repeater became a darker green with some Goku looking hair at the back. Honestly, it's one of my favorite looks for the guy. Let's put him in B tier too. What would a PVC game be without new pea shooters to cover? An absolute icon is the bright pink sweet pea. It really doesn't get more perfect than this. I love the pink, and the candy aesthetic of the swirl and wrapper hair is truly amazing. Of course it shoots little peppermints as well, as it freaking should. I have yet to see a reason why I shouldn't put this one in S tier. 
B Shooter. How has this never come back? This needs to be put in PvZ2 yesterday. I never realized how much a P Shooter looks like a B with just a stinger and some stripes. It shoots bees as well, which makes no sense logically, but let's just roll with it. Hey, Bader, I'm putting the B Shooter in B tier. Wait, no, I meant A tier, A tier. I can't believe we actually got Elsa P Shooter. What is this game and how does it no longer exist? Yep, that's right, yet another snow pea upgrade is here. The ice cream pea is what you get when you breed a repeater and a snow pea together. Dude, they should totally make a PvC breeding game, that would be sick! Really though, it's actually the snow pea with a bee shooter's power. Either way, it's pretty good, so let's give it a B tier. And yes, I actually meant to say B tier this time. Alright, that's halfway. 30 freaking 5 minutes in. GREAT! This is probably the moment a lot of you have been waiting for. We've reached the Garm Warfare series and officially entered the edgy phase of the pea shooter. You'd have a hard time finding an image that goes harder than the freaking pea shooter in this game. For those of you who have never seen it, here's some concept art of what the pea shooter could have been in this game. Imagine kids playing a game with a character like that. This belongs in a horror game. It does make me sad we're not counting concept art today though. Anyways, we have the regular pea shooter in a much better looking form in these games. I'm going to group the Garm Warfare 1 and 2 pea shooters together. I know there are slight differences, but for the most part they look and play the same. You'd think the basic one wouldn't be that good, but it's actually not too bad. There have been more abilities added over time, but the main three are the Chili Bean Bomb, a massive explosion to damage zombies in range, the P Gatling, an awesome reference with a hefty attack, and Hyper, the ability to run around faster than a Fortnite kid with V-Bugs. P Shooter is one of my favorites from the first game, and I really love all of his abilities. For the basic one, he's going all the way up to A tier. While Snow P is usually next, we actually get Fire P instead. It's really just the regular P with fire attacks. People tend to put him on the lower side of the tier list, and I'd have to agree. I prefer the original any day. C tier. Oh wait, you wanted the Snow P? Too bad! It's Ice P now! Deal with it! Hmm, yeah, I wonder how this one differs from the last two. I'd bet you never freaking guess! He's really in the same boat as the Fire P, except I like this one even less. D tier. Our Poison Baron is the Toxic P, glowing even more green than ever before and wearing a gas mask for protection. At least, he would be, if his massive mouth didn't punch a hole right through the front. I guess it's fashion over function. While I do like the look of it quite a bit, this one just isn't for me. I still prefer the original, C tier. Finally, we're getting to the good stuff. Commando P is apparently going commando. Although, I'm pretty sure every P-Shirt is freaking naked. I am obsessed with the way they made the next few P-Shirts look like guns, with the little holes in the side of his mouth. He looks absolutely awesome. I have to say, I like playing this one a little bit less than the original, but his design absolutely makes up for it. A tier. Give it up for our 50th P shooter, Agent P. Wait, like the platypus? Also, that's definitely more than 50, dude. I think you're slowly going insane making this video. Oh, you think I'm going insane? You're the one that thinks this platypus is a secret agent. Shut up! No, you shut up! Ah, ah! Anyone who's ever played Garm Warfare simply knows that Agent P is the best. Even if you play as someone else more, you have to acknowledge he's simply better. Besides, just look at him. My boy just smoked the fattest joint known to man. Which reminds me, can someone make the smoking p shirt image official so we can cover it? Okay, thanks. Anyways, you know where he's going. S tier, dude. Just look at the snoot on the law p. Every p shirt would be 20% funnier if you made their snoot longer. This town ain't big enough for two p shooters, which is starting to become a problem, as you can see from our tier list here. But Law P is here to lay down the law, and you legally have to listen to someone with a sick mustache like that. I love the Law P too, he's one of my faves. S tier. People were just begging, clamoring for Plants vs Zombies to team up with Cheetos. And when that finally happened, they yearned, no, screamed for the chance to get a character based on Aquafina Flavor Splash. And they were truly blown away when it was the worst character in the game and never even made it to the sequel. You know, it's really smart to make fans hate your brand deal more than they normally hate brand deals. Well done. I'm putting your blueberry looking ass in F tier. Plasma P is really the only character with vastly different looks over time. He received this poster that makes him look like a robot, and then in the game they just made him blue. I absolutely prefer the robot look for him, but he's sadly not the real deal. And in the sequel they somehow made him more blue? How do you even do that? People seem to mostly like the guy, but I can't say I agree. He's going in C for me. These last two are exclusive to the sequel, which I sadly never played. 
I must say they made a p-shirt look like the thing from Fantastic Four, and it looks really, really awesome. I'm pretty sure he sucks big balls though, and if you like playing as him, everyone makes fun of you for it, which is really uncool, but also, I'm a people pleaser, so B tier it is. And lastly, we have the Electro P, yet another blue pea shooter. This one looks pretty cool, and from what I've seen, he's pretty good too. Let's give the Garden Warfare series one last A tier. If you think I'm ranking all these spawnable pea shooters from Garden Warfare, you're insane! So insane that I'm just gonna place them on the tier list and say it was both a couple of minutes. But there are a few unique ones to go through quick. Remember the show Bewitched? Well, too bad, it's Pewitch now! From what I can tell, it's just a costume for the pea cannon with no changes to their power. I said no costumes, but I guess this thing counts as its own spawnable, so I have to count it. Okay, fine. As long as you let me put it in F tier. Same goes for you, elf boy! At least witches aren't cool. The only elf I like is that one guy from Pewitched. F tier for you too. Wrapping up the shooter games, we have the Pea Shooter from Battle for Neighborville. For all the things that messed up with this game, I must say, I don't think the Pea Shooter is one of them. I definitely prefer the more realistic look of the Garden Warfare Pea Shooter, but I don't mind the stylized Pea Shooter here at all. His abilities are basically the same from the Garden Warfare series too, so really the only thing different here is his looks. And I'm a fan. What I love most is that I only have to rank one of these guys because they took variants out of the game. Makes my job a lot easier. A tier. Wait, what the hell? I just said we were done. Who the freak is Amber Gemma? Apparently there are NPCs in this game that have some costumes on, and Amber Gemma decides she wanted to leak sap out her nose hole for the rest of her life. She does look a little cool, I can't deny it. So fine! D tier! Whoever came up with Flot Samuel should be bludgeoned! Uh, in Minecraft, I mean. Finding Nemo called, and he wants to find Nemo. Lucky for him, I think we found him. Look, there he is, an F tier. Someone heard about Stinky Steve and made a crappy knockup known as Tumbleweed Ted. Other than the hat, it is straight up another pea shooter. Get an F tier, shit ass. I have not been as excited to talk about a character since the Snap Pea, probably. We've made it to Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, a turn-based card collecting game all about building decks with your favorite heroes. And honestly, I'm pretty sure my favorite hero in the game is Green Shadow. So much so that I respect her so much, I'll only show just this one fan art of her. That's just how much I respect the character. Alright, maybe two. I don't really know why I think she's cool. Maybe I just like superheroes. Maybe I like her outfit. Maybe because she's sort of the face of the game. I'm not much of an expert on the game, so I don't know if her decks are good or if she has a special ability, which, by the way, I just looked it up, and apparently the answer is no, she sucks. But that's okay. For me, she's gotta go in S tier. People have actually asked me to rank every card in PvC Heroes. If you want my next year to be taken up doing that, I'll do it. But for now, let's just go through the P shooter based ones on their own. As I'm sure you expected, there's quite a few. Most are just translating the existing ones into a turn based card game. So the regular P shooter, for example, has one attack power and one health. He can shoot a P or he can get hit and die. It's great for early game, but obviously isn't your heavy hitter. Anyways, I actually really like the art style for this game, and I'm excited to see the rest. For now, this one's pretty lame. Let's go D tier. The Snow Pea is at least a little better. It basically doubled all the regular Pea stats, even freezing the zombie just attacked. It's actually a really great one. I think I gotta go B tier. Man, history sure does seem to repeater itself. How many times have we ranked the Pea Shooter, the Snow Pea, and the Repeater by now? The Repeater also has 2 attack and 2 health, but if it survives, it attacks again. Like my freaking iPod stuck on replay, my man! Again, pretty great. B tier as well. 3 Peter, on the other hand, not looking so hot. It's actually super helpful to be able to attack in multiple lanes in this game, and 5 health is really good too. But just 1 attack power for 5 sun? It's definitely not bad, and as I said before, I suck at this game, so in reality, it's probably amazing and I'm really dumb. That's okay, still saying D tier. Split P is basically the exact opposite, it's like a glass cannon. You can deal a ton of damage, but only take one hit. The best part is that it also gets to deal damage before each round, which could potentially take out or weaken the enemy it's facing. If it wasn't for that single heart, I'd place it higher. I'm pretty sure this is like one of the best pushers in the game, so sorry in advance, but B tier. The Gatling P looks so weird in this game. I genuinely thought it was fan made when I saw the image. Anyways, it's definitely the most powerful P shooter yet. Four hearts? Five attack and a double strike? That's insanely good, considering it literally costs as much as a three Peter. If only it didn't look like shit. So close, buddy. A tier. Peapod got to join the party too, but instead of having to play multiple Peapod cards, it gains an attack and health point at the start of each turn. 
that's pretty good if you manage to keep them alive, which is easier said than done, of course. I'm sure this thing could get nutty if you let it, but it is pretty tough to do. Let's say C tier. How dare you show your face again, Peanut? What, you're gonna tell me there's more than one of you this time? Oh, come on! Great, can't wait to cover that three nut later down the line. It's as basic as they come, acting as a protection option with an attack. I'd say it's leagues more helpful here than in PvZ too. Also, just wanted to share that in his bio, he says, Mom was a pea shooter, Dad was a nut. Everyone said it wouldn't work, but they were wrong. They said what wouldn't work? Your parents procreating? You are a freak! That's what doesn't work! Uh, anyways, B tier. They did fire pea shooter so dirty. He's just a stronger pea shooter. No fire abilities, no cool traits, just a stronger pea shooter. I hate you now, fire pea shooter. D tier. As always, the primal pea shooter is amazing. For just one sun, he has two hearts, two attack, and the ability to bounce your enemies. He simply never fails to blow me away. Or blow me. S tier. I can't believe it, dude. Sweet P returns! They've been out of commission for so long, I would assume they'd forgot about my favorite pink boy. It's too bad B Shooter isn't here too, but I really shouldn't complain. It uses its sweet aroma to move a zombie of your choice to the same lane, which is awesome! I definitely liked how they looked in Adventures better, but it's just nice to see them return. A tier. 3 Nut sounds like what I'm going to do when I see Green Shadow fan art, but it's actually just the newest upgrade for the Peanut. If the other one was a birth effect, then what the hell happened here? They're so messed up they rub shit all over their faces. We should really put this thing out of its misery. It actually has a pretty nice ability, making every plant have 3 strength while it's alive. Even non-attackers get the chance to beat up some zombies. I don't like you, but I gotta say, B tier. Know what they call it when you take a whiz in space? Cosmic P. He's got a whole vortex as a mouth, that's awesome! It isn't very strong, but when you play it, you receive another pea shooter card with a double strike ability. That's like the king of all pea shooters then. If we've learned anything from this list, it's that we need more pea shooters. S tier. Hey, are you talking to P on the day of my daughter's wedding? That's really the only thing I know about the Godfather. I am so sorry. I love how fat this guy is. After he's played, any other peas played get plus two attack and health. Sounds awesome. But there's not even that many peas to use this on. Imagine building a P only deck though. Who knows, I might even do that just to get footage for this video. I like the guy, but I'm not crazy about him. B tier. Lastly, we got the Sky Shooter. Probably one of the only P's to not have a word related to a P in it. This is one of those plants that is more powerful on heights, and really nothing more. He's a big boy, he's pretty strong, and I like his little goggles and propeller, but still. Certainly no pod father. C tier. Final stretch, people. We made it to the most recent game in the series. Well, the earliest version of the most recent game in the series, I guess. Plants vs. Zombies 3 was originally a game with a vertical phone orientation and poorly made 3D plants and zombies. Who really cares what the game played like? This is undoubtedly the worst looking version of Plants vs. Zombies I've ever seen. And I ranked a game where Crazy Dave teaches you Chinese. Because of that, I have absolutely no respect for the returning pea shooters in it. The original pea shooter just looked bad, enough freaking said. F tier. I feel the same way about the snow pea. Talk about uggo. F tier. And finally, everyone say goodbye to the fire pea shooter, making her final appearance on our tier list today. More like good riddance, am I right? F tier. And now we're at the most recent game in the series. If you saw my original PVC game ranking, I put this game in B tier, and I've regretted it ever since. I literally did zero research on the game, I just ranked it there because it looked nice. Now I completely understand its flaws, especially because I've actually gotten to play it. All that really doesn't matter though, because we'll mostly be ranking these off of looks anyways. I do genuinely like the style of the characters. Not everyone turned out great, my poor boy Bonk Choi was done dirty, but P sure does look pretty good to me. Not perfect, far from it, but in this art style I do like it. Let's say C tier. I don't know what it is about this snow pea, but it's not working for me. It's probably just my dumb opinion, but I don't much care for the guy. I might also just be sick of snow peas, can you blame me? Sorry to say, D tier. The three Peter is actually here too, and if you don't remember them being playable, you'd be right. They appeared during the win streak event as copy and pasted pea shooter heads. Wonderful. I couldn't live with myself without one last F tier. We also got PVZ babies in this game. So far, just the sunflower and, of course, the pea shooter. Aw, he's so cute. If PVZ had babies, how are we literally only seeing them just now? 
whatever, who cares? I'm feeling one last beat here for the road. By now, you guys know the bit. I play the angelic music, and we all gawk at the insane final character I found in my research. I want to gawk alongside you guys while the music play this time around. No need to take it so seriously. I would like to present to you all the one and only P-Bob Square Shooter. Yep, that's right. We are ranking only official characters today. I have absolutely no idea how this character is real, but that's not important. Let's read some wiki user's thoughts on the character. Aw oh, hell nah, Spunkle Boob is in PvZ too. Aw oh, hell nah, Spongebob become Peaster. Aw oh, hell nah, what's Spongebob doing in PvZ spin-off game? Aw oh, hell nah, Punchbob got became a pea shooter. And of course, aw oh, hell nah, Spongebob. Aw <laughs> oh, hell nah, Spongebob indeed, my friends. I honestly couldn't have said it better myself. We've went over pea shooter after pea shooter today, and somehow none of them come close to topping this one. Who knew all you need to perfect the design was Spongebob? Now we know, I guess. Feels right to end this massive list with one final S tier. For those who were keeping track, I split this video up into 86 ranking sections, but there's actually over 120 pea shooters on this freaking tier list. Why did I think this was a good idea again? Of course, when you're talking about the literal face of a franchise, there's gonna be a lot. I am super worried this video got boring the longer we went on, but as always, I tried my best to keep things entertaining while ranking the freaking basic P or snow P for the umpteenth time. And the sad thing is, I know for a fact I've missed some, including the merchandise I got too scared to include. If you can think of any P shooters that deserve a spot on this list, please let me know. I would like to make this thing as complete as possible. Also, I know there will always be more P shooters being made in the future. PvZ3 is undoubtedly going to see the repeater and fire P shooter at some point in the future. Anyways, P-Shooter is an absolute icon. He was perfect from the start, so it's crazy to see iteration after iteration of the same design. It's pretty crazy how much he's evolved, taking on so many different art styles through the years. Sometimes we get the edgy Garn Warfare look, and other times we get a little Funko Pop, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't love them all at least a little bit. Let's hope, as we continue to see new plans for Zombies games, that will receive equally as awesome P-Shooters all the way through. Thank you very much for watching our journey through literal hell. This is one of the toughest videos I've ever made. Imagine staring at nothing but pea shooters for months of your life. Some freaks out there probably love the sound of that shit. I'm definitely going easy on myself with next week's video. I need a break. But believe it or not, I think this could be fun to try with other series. Angry Birds obviously makes the most sense, covering Red or Chuck or something. Freddy Fazbear, Bowser, Omnom, there's tons of options. Or we could try Sunflower or Walnut too. Let me know if any of those sound fun. You could have watched this video like three weeks early, you dumb dumb. Don't worry, you can still access this massive tier list and place the pea shooters where you think they should go. All you gotta do is join my Patreon from the link in the description. Trust me, it's worth it. Let's assign a pea shooter to each of my channel members. If you want to join the pea shooter army, then please consider becoming a member of the channel today. Thank you, Leland, Patrick Byerjan, Honomaki, Brightstreak, MD Switchy, Dolphin Rider H2O, Dojo Master, Christoph Creations, Lava Tain, Jasper TV, Keep, Omegon, Gall Guy, it's me, Ali, Jep the Legend, HTA, Cheaper Ying, Al, Gotham, Marie, and Callum Ford. And I believe Marie also subscribed to my Patreon, so thank you very, very much. I appreciate all of you that just joined from the previous video. If I had to choose an absolute favorite pea shooter, that goddamn Halloween costume really might be up there. It's hard to beat the SpongeBob one, though. Anyways, for some reason I took a shot every time I said pea shooter, so if you'll excuse me, I need to go die real quick. I'm definitely going easy with myself. I'm definitely going easy on myself with the next season. Oh hell nah, Punch Bob got become a shoe. <laughs> F U C K explanation point. I don't give a fuck.